two reasons, because ISIS are not known to have a particularly substantial presence in Yemen, but this kind of violence, these uh, series of blasts and then the follow-up explosion targeting those who rush to assist, that is potentially something you might associate with ISIS tactics in the past. The statement has been released through a website, an online vehicle, which in the past has also been used to put similar statements out. But simply because they say they did it doesn't necessarily mean that they did. So we have to be cautious about this. But there are also analysts as well saying that al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula do not in the past target mosques. Now, of course, some will challenge uh, that qualification of the level of violence they're uh, willing to instill upon people. But I think many are quite asking how this new development, the sectarian nature of this, these explosions, uh, the quite chilling level of the death toll that seems to be doubling literally in the past hour or so, quite how this new chapter has arisen in Yemen. Does it have anything to do with ISIS? As I say, they are not really a big player in Yemen, very much on the sidelines lines, very much overshadowed by al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, who have a very strong base inside Yemen. That's why the US has been going after them with drones there for years. But this claim online will attract a lot of attention and will have many concern. There could be a new player in Yemen. And I should stress again, just because they say they did it using this statement, we don't actually know precisely who it's from at this stage, doesn't mean they did carry out these attacks. Brown? Sure. But why? explain to us, Nick, why ISIS would make this claim if they're not actually responsible? Are they just trying to seem like they are the scariest actor in the neighborhood? In short, yes, what we're potentially seeing here in Yemen is a departure into sectarian war, potentially. This is a rare attack. We don't normally see mosques sit, and these mosques are predominantly Shia, because the Houthi movement, who frequent these mosques, who've been sweeping into power in the past few months, are mostly Shia, and those they've been uh, facing a lot in the battlefields around Yemen are often Sunni tribes, and that replicates the violence across the region. ISIS might be trying to be the most violent, to be the vanguard, if you like, of this new sectarian violence. Brianna.